thing that I did feel when we were filming it was I'm I'm so used to doing um, the few things I've been lucky enough to be in have been really friendship based movies. And so for me, it really helped actually playing Johanna because I was like, where is my buddy? Like, I don't I don't have a buddy on this journey. And that's really what she's feeling because I, I always say it's the story of a girl that doesn't have a best friend or a mom really present or a parent you know her mom is there but she's really absent with the babies and then she her best friend's like her older brother but your best you know your older brother can't be like your best friend like your best friend is your best friend so but it's the story of a girl who doesn't have friends and I felt that a lot when I was shooting I was like I'm the only one on the call sheet today like that's a very new experience for me it was like me and the dog a lot of the time and it was it was a whole new journey kind of acting against myself in that way. But then I would have like Patty Considine or Alfie Allen or Lori Kynaston. And, and it was the most exceptional group of people that they've assembled around Johanna that I think bring the story to life, really. I learned so much, honestly, from Sersha watching her do Lady Bird because, you know, she was doing an accent and, and all of these things. And I I watched her like I would I just was in awe of how. She handled herself with such grace and love and generosity. And she really felt like a member of the crew as much as a member of the cast. And I really tried to emulate that with How to Build a Girl because I'm there all day, every day, just like the crew versus if you're a cast member, sometimes you come in and out. But for How to Build a Girl, I was I was really in the thick of it with them. And so I really felt that way. I felt like a member of the crew just as much as a member of the cast and that I really, I truly emulated from Sersha because I, I was so in awe of the way she did that.